Hello everyone and welcome back to Kayla's Corner. In this video today, I'm going to be doing an Urban OG shoe haul. So when I ordered the shoes, Urban OG had a sale. I think the shoes were either 60 or 65% off all regular price shoes. And then you also got free shipping if you spent $75 or more. I spent $76.08, the original price before the discount code was $156. But before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The first pair of shoes I got is by the brand called Room of Fashion. And it came in a box like this. <laughs> came in a box like this. I got a size 8 in the shoe. And this is what the shoe looks like. We're going to open her up. A little ASMR for you folks. Open her up and we're going to take one out. So this is what the shoe looks like. Um, I really like this shoe because it's kind of like a casual shoe. You can wear it to work or you can wear it if you're like going to brunch or something. It depends on how you dress it up. Uh, but you do strap it up and it's a brown colored shoe. It's a brown shoe. Um, and it has a zipper in the back and the straps are functional. So you can tighten them if you want it to be tighter or if you have a wider foot, you can also loosen them up. This is one of the shoes that was already on sale and you can't return it because I guess it was a clearance item, but I really like the shoe. $10.10 can't beat that. They are um, semi-comfortable when I try them in. I haven't really worn them yet, so I don't know like how they feel if you wear them throughout the day. But like I said, they do strap up and you can adjust the strap if you have a wider foot or um, a thinner foot. So that's the first pair of shoe. The next shoe that I got is by the brand Cape Robin and it came in a box like this. I got a size eight. And this is what the shoe looks like in the packaging. This is what the shoe looks like. Um, it has like a little heel on it, so that's a little different. Um, it is a sliding shoe, so you just slide your foot inside of it. Um, it has a little cute little flowering detail on it with the gold buckle. Uh, these shoes were also on sale. One of the shoe uh, that's already a clearance shoe, so you can't send it back. Um, and yeah, this is the shoe. Really cute. I haven't worn any of these shoes yet, so I'm not really sure how comfortable they are. But this one does have little padding in the inside of it. Um, so it is um, comfortable when you try it on. The only thing I didn't like about this shoe is that on my foot, it looks really long. So that's just, I don't know. I don't really like when shoes make my feet look long. So that's that. And you can kind of tell how it's long right here. But other than that, it's a really cute shoe, um, a really nice work shoe if you're looking for something different um, to wear to work. So that's the second pair of shoes. The shoe is by the brand name Cupid. This is what the box looks like. And I also got this one in a size eight and a half. Um, these I definitely could have gotten a size eight. I'm not sure if they had them in a the size eight, but these are a little bit big for my feet. Like my feet are wide, but they aren't super wide. I don't know. It's weird. Um, but I definitely could have got a size eight in these because this shoe is a little bit big, but we're going to take one shoe out so you all can see it. So this is the shoe. It does have a heel like the other shoe that I just showed you all, but the heel isn't as thick that, as you can see. Um, it does have a little padding also in the inside of the shoe, and it does have a little pointy toe. Um, yeah, I like the really, I really like the snake skin. Usually, not usually, recently I've been into like snake skin and stuff. So since last summer, I've gotten into like snake skin. So I thought this shoe would be cute, and it's black and white, so you can like mix it up with like a lot of things. You can accent it with like red or like you know a pop of color if you want. But yeah. I thought this shoe was really nice. The only thing I don't like about this shoe is that I tried it on and like took two steps in my apartment and it, um, it's kind of like bending and creasing already. So I'm afraid that if I wear these too often, they will start to bend or crease right here. But other than that, it is a really nice shoe and I think it's cute. So the um, fourth shoe and the first pair of sandals is by the brand Bamboo. 
And honestly, a lot of shoes that are sold on Urban OG, I've seen in like uh, beauty supply stores and things of that nature. So I'm pretty sure that if you want these shoes and they're not on Urban OG, you can find them elsewhere. I'm just not sure where else you can find them. Um, but this is by the brand name Bamboo. I got this in a size eight and a half. Now, when I get sandals, like I said, my feet are kind of wide. So, depending on the sandal, I will like size up to an eight and a half. But often, I can fit in a size eight in sandals. Eights are more comfortable for me, but sometimes I do need the eight and a half. This is what this shoe looks like. Um, or how it came packaged. And take it out. And they put this little thing in there, I guess, to keep the shoe form to fit how it's supposed to. And it's just really um, blinky rhinestones. I feel like every year I buy a pair of rhinestone sandals because I wear them so much that they end up wearing out. So I had to get a new pair and I just love bling sandals. Like, oh, they're just my favorite. They're just so cute and so girly and so me. So uh, this is the shoe. I don't know if you all can tell, but some of the rhinestones have come out like like right there. You probably can't really tell because the rhinestones are small. But when they were delivered, um, some of the rhinestones were coming out. And some of the like little thread is coming out too. So I'm not sure how much this shoe will hold up or if the rhinestones will stay. But it is a really cute shoe. Um, I don't like the fit because it's like, I don't know, it's like really thick up here. And I'd rather shoes be thin. I don't know. It's really weird. I don't really know how to explain it. But the shoe is cute. Maybe it's the band. The band is so thick. Usually when I wear sandals like this, I like the band to be a little bit thinner. So maybe if it like stopped right here, I would like them more. But I think it's how thick the band is that I really don't like. But I think I'm going to keep them. I thought about selling them on my Poshmark um, site. But I think I'm going to keep them. That I got is by the brand Liliana and it came in this little black box and I got this in a size 8 and I'm glad I did the reason that I got these in a size 8 is because the sandal sandal is stretchy so usually when I get an eight and a half I get them because of the width of my feet and not necessarily for the length of my feet. So I, I got this in an eight because I knew that this would stretch. So I did. I knew that I wouldn't need the extra room that an eight and a half would give me. So um, this is like a little cute cheetah print sandal. Um, the material of the shoe is like a little satin, um, satin material. I love cheetah print too. I think I just love prints in general, um, just because of how cute they are. But yeah, the sandal does stretch. The first, the first part doesn't give you as much give as the second part does but either way if you have wide feet this shoe don't worry about um having to size up in this shoe um the only thing i probably see a problem with in this shoe is how thin it is i cannot do thin sandals honey they make my feet hurt and it has like no shape or anything to it like no padding so this is something that but i don't foresee myself having to wear these if i'm going somewhere and, it's, and i'm going to be out all day but other than that it's a really cute sandal also, you compare this with the pop of red. So cute, honey. Yes, get you. This is the last shoe in my favorite shoe. <laughs> oh, this also is by the brand Cupid. I also got this in a size eight. Um, all these sandals fit too, so I'm really happy that they fit me the way I wanted them to. This is what it looks like packaged up. This is what it looks like packaged up. Wanna take one out. And let's inspect. Okay, so this one doesn't have any rhinestones missing in it. But this is the shoe. It has a tan bottom and the little silver rhinestones. I really like this shoe. Um, I like this part. And also this rhinestone band is a little bit thinner than the other one that I was showing you. Let me see. So as you all can see, it's a little bit thinner, which is why I think I like this shoe a little bit better than I like the other one. Um, this one is a flat sandal, but this part, this cushion in here, is a little bit thicker than the cheetah print sandal. So I don't think this shoe will be a problem if I'm trying to like wear it out all day. Um, what else can I say about this shoe? Hmm. 
I don't know. Other than that, it's a really pretty shoe. Like I said, there's no rhinestones missing or anything like that. Um, and I think all of these shoes that I got, they did come in different colors. It just depends on if they have a color in your size. Like this one, I was really debating on getting this one or the shoe. It had like a lime, um, a lime green print in here, but I thought this one would be more versatile than um, having to get the lime green one. So um, that's it for all of these shoes. I just want to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next video.